because they can't even see me at the front. Uh, so my name is Dr. Suze Kundu. I am uh, a nanoscientist literally and professionally. Now, if you ask my mum and dad, they'd probably say, well, actually, she's always been a nanoscientist, owing to the fact that I'm tiny, but I have always been experimenting whether it was mum's lotions and potions being mixed in the kitchen sink or pulling apart dad's vinyl needle, I would be breaking everything apart just to try and find out how it worked. You can imagine the scene. Barbie, when I wanted to find out how she worked, an arm over here, a leg over here. It was all a bit terrible. Now, thankfully for the UK public, I have not channeled that into becoming a medic, but I have become a research scientist. So I work on materials for clean energy, and I also lecture in chemical engineering. Woo! See, and people don't like chemists. So yes, so I have the best job in the world, I think, but this is the funny thing, because I am doing something that I have loved doing for my entire life. Breaking and making things, being curious about stuff, and this is something that kids inherently have in them from birth. We're always exploring. If you ask a parent or a teacher what the main question is that kids ask, most of those questions will start with the word why. And that's because they want to know the reason for everything. They want to know why bedtime has to be at seven. They want to know why they have to eat broccoli. Why, why do I have to? But they also want to know about all these other awesome things about the world. And this is great, except that those very parents and teachers are witnesses to the demise of that curiosity. Because around the age of 13, 14, the terrible year nines, any teachers in the audience, that curiosity disappears because people start to become self-aware. They start to self-censor and they stop asking questions. So one of the things that I really want to get everyone to do is to make sure you are asking questions. Ask for the evidence behind things. Today's superfood will be next week's carcinogen. Today's wonder drug will be next year's poison, you know? And it's not a case of what we need to do is find out what the truth is behind why a pomegranate is a superfood. So finding out the evidence behind stuff is really important, I think. And so one of the things I think we should all do, I mean, the majority of the crowd here today, you were scientists or you were sci curious, as I like to say, but what we need to do is reach the people beyond here today. So if each of you could leave here and tell somebody that wasn't at this march what you did here and why you came here and encourage them to ask for the evidence behind stuff. Ask them to ask why. Now, this doesn't just extend to the general public. We've got some friends over there who really need to be doing the same thing. So out of the 650 MPs that we have, it was reported that only six of them were scientifically trained. I think it's actually round about 26, 27 at the last count. That's probably gonna change soon anyway. But it's not enough, you know, there's 4% of the people that are making decisions on our behalf that are scientifically trained. And in a world where they say that you shouldn't rely on experts, who needs an expert? Well, actually, everyone needs experts. I know a bit about science, but if I needed to know about economics, for example, I wouldn't have the first clue. That's embarrassing because both my parents are economists. You know, you know, it happens. But I would ask them if I needed to know something, I would ask an expert because I don't know. I want to know and I want to ask why. And so this is basically my kind of, my call to all of you and to all of the people beyond here today. Please embrace that childlike curiosity. Please never stop asking why, and please empower those around you that may be prone to believing the things that they read at face value. Make them ask why. It is one of the greatest tools that we have. Please get them to ask why. Thank you all so much for turning up today. You've got a great range of speakers lined up. See you later. Thank you.